constantly changing, and urban mobility is changing with it. In the future, everything will be connected. Even now, mobility is being reimagined. Intermodal transportation has already become reality, with services such as car sharing providing the link between public transportation and your final destination. The future will see traffic management solutions combined with even cleaner and more efficient powertrains, plus the convenience and eco-friendliness of electrified and automated driving. Automated valet parking will become reality. You won't have to park your car. It will park itself. The vehicle of tomorrow will be even more connected to its surroundings and with your smart home. Cars will be transformed into your truly personal assistant. The future of urban mobility is automated, electrified, and connected. Bosch is driving this change and shaping the future. The future of mobility. Good morning, everyone. I'm very pleased to be here today. The video we just watched presents our view of the future of mobility. And I can tell you that today we are more enthusiastic than ever about the changes, the Internet of Things, or maybe we should even call it the Internet of Everything, is bringing with it. In an increasingly connected world, people expect technologies to make everyday life even simpler, more convenient and safer. Above all, they want them to be tailored to their individual needs. This is why we see personalization as, as the next big connectivity trend. And we are focusing on coming up with personal, emotional and responsive solutions. In short, we want to offer smart products and services that act as assistants and partners. In a moment, I will give you some examples, examples of what I mean. But first, let me say a few words about Bosch. Over the course of our 130-year history, we always work to come up with innovations that are invented for life. Our company founder, Robert Bosch, once said, none of us should ever be satisfied with what has been achieved, but should always endeavor to be better. When it comes to the IoT, doing better means more than ever. Figuring out how technology can offer real benefits through connectivity for all of us. So today, our innovations are invented for a simply connected life. We, as a company, are in a strong position to tap this potential. From mobility solutions, industrial technology, to energy and building technology, as well as consumer goods, we are active in many fields and we are able to connect these domains with one another. To be mentioned is also that we are one of the largest suppliers of automotive technology, and not one single car is produced today without parts from Bosch. In recent years, we have been working diligently to become one of the world's key players in the realm of IoT. We are doing this for two reasons. First, connectivity is allowing us to enhance our traditional business. Second, it is opening the door to completely new possibilities. In fact, our target is to make all of our electronic products connected by 2020. What's more, only very few indust industrial enterprises can draw on software and sensor technology know-how to the extent we can. With the launch of the Bosch IoT Cloud last year, 
we have added the final piece of the puzzle to our software expertise. With regard to personalization, sensors deserve a special mention. Bosch is the global market leader when it comes to microelectromechanical sensors, MEMS for short. With these, we can make things feel what is going on around them. Sensors are the eyes and ears of millions of devices, from smartphones and tablets to vehicles. They can help save lives and energy and make driving more comfortable. This will also mean offering every product with a service package. But to be able to understand the needs we do have to understand the mobility megatrend, we do have to understand the mobility megatrends in an even faster changing world. First of all, we do have to understand that ur urbanization is going on and it's accelerating. Cities represent today 2% of the globe but already 50% of the population. And by 2030, there will be 30 more megacities globally, with 55% in developing economies of India, China, Russia, and Latin America. This puts a lot of pressure on the cities. It's amazing, but the car is the second expensive asset after your home, but still the car is standing 95% of the time. So we're putting a lot of money on an asset, but using it only 5%. This leads to that 30% of parking rela related vehicle miles and associate greenhouse gases. People driving around in a city is spending 43% of the time looking for a parking space. And in cities where double parking is more or less allowed, 22% of the time is, uh, sorry, that leads to 22% double parking. We also have to understand that the whole net, uh, road network in cities and outside cities are built for cars with drivers, which means that we have to make wider lanes and because there are a lot of cars in the lanes and the reaction time of a human being is slow, we have to leave a lot of space between the cars. To get all those cars on the streets, we need wider streets. If we go to autonomous driving, we can reduce the space between the cars to around 10 centimeters around the car. So, and 90% uh, of the accidents today are a result of a human behavior. Driving against red light or not looking into the cross section when you're gonna cross the section and so on. And public transportation will face big changes. And logistics, especially in urban areas, will also face changes. Uh, as a big company as Bosch is, I will not go into detail in all of the areas. So for today, I have picked one area, and that is parking in urban areas. The global market for connected mobility is expected to grow nearly 25% annually over the next five years alone. As connectivity progresses, cars and driving will Car, cars and driving will make huge strides forward. Vehicles will be connected to their surroundings and even driving themselves. What we are striving for is to make products which today are smart dumb into smart, smart products. What do I mean with smart dumb? Take as an example the navigation system you have in your car today and you put on the navigation system to drive home. You as a human being know that at some, some uh, point of the, the, the way home, it's better to turn left, maybe 
The way is longer, but it's faster. And you make the turn every day. And every day, you all know how annoying it is. Navigation star uh, system will start to say, make a U-turn if possible. Make a U-turn if possible. By turning this device to smart, smart, after a couple of times, it will learn that you as a human being knows better. OK, it's a longer way, but it's a faster way. And after that, it will start to propose to you to take that road instead. That is what we mean with turning smart dumb products to smart smart. A simple example, but a very valid example. Once highly automated driving becomes reality, the car will be a third living space next to the home and the office. A personal assistant on four wheels. This will have a number of benefits. Just some to mention, diagnose the car, book services, remind you of the upcoming service. Snooze your mood after a working day and adjust home the lighting, music, temperature, etc. accordingly. Or even help you to order flowers for your wife's birthday and pick them up for you. But what is a car with brains without a smart city to match it? Connectivity is also shaping the cities of the future. There is no question that smart cities also call for innovative mo mobility concepts. On average, it takes up to 30 minutes and almost 10 kilometers of driving just to find an empty parking space in a city. To cut the time, urban drivers spend looking for a space and thus also to de decongest the roads, we are cooperating with the OEMs. With a concept we call community-based parking, the aim here is to turn the car into a parking spot locator, an assistant that speaks with the road and helps you find a free space in no time. This is good for your nerves and your wallets, and it makes parking a piece of cake. To have a better understanding about the concept, let me show a short video. We know that there are a lot of systems under development out there. There are systems where some companies are thinking of adding sensors to light poles or putting the sensors in the ground. Why invent the wheel again? Why not use what we already have out there, all the sensors that are on the cars? And believe it or not, but fully automated valet parking is already here.
you'll see. I'll pop next time. Imagine having enough time to watch all planned seasons of Game of Thrones. According to our brand new connected car effect study, frequent drivers could do just that. Thanks to highly automated driving, they could save almost 100 hours annually by 2025. And if you're not into TV series, I can think of many other ways to use that time. This brings me to the end of my speech. As I've shown you today, personalization is the next level of connectivity, and Bosch is driving it forward. Through all spheres of life, we are coming up with personalized products and services, enhancing existing products to take on additional tasks, and developing personal assistance and partners for our customers. In doing so, we are contributing to improving quality of life. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, Stefan.